Welcome everybody out there. My name is Stefan Friedrichowski and the warm welcome in the name of JFD as well. Topic today, JFD Invest, Trading and Investing Simplified. And I will have a close look to the highlights of last week because uh, that might have been the trigger for you to participate today because we sent out uh, newsletters um, every week now. What are the highlights uh, of JFD Invest? And uh, that means we will focus a little bit on a specific strategy, uh, which has been the top performer of last week. But also, I would um, like to introduce JFD Invest at all, meaning um, that uh, everybody knows, hey, what's around there, or how to um, to invest personally, and how everything works uh, at JFD Invest. JFD Invest is something like uh, your personal and digital wealth management and yeah it's the opportunity to um, become part of that family meaning that trades are mirrored in your jfd invest account um, according to your personal settings and that means um, yeah that you can p participate um, um, with uh, pre-selected trading strategies so that you have those um, trades copied directly into your account. But before we really start, um, as always, just one slide here, our risk disclaimer, because we talk about trading, we talk about investment. Um, and of course, whenever you do finally uh, things, you do them by your own and on your own responsibility. I think that's self-explaining. And uh, of course, um, it's worth to mention. JFD Invest, yeah, JFD Invest. Let's really start um, with the highlights uh, first. So let's have a look on our newsletter uh, of uh, JFD Invest. And uh, we sent around um, one email and uh, the top three performers of uh, last week have been the strategies Goldmine, BIP Generator and Balance. And you see, okay, the top one is close to 2% um, profit within one week, which is really a remarkable result. And um, later we will see Goldmine at all is the leading strategy at JFD Invest. So if you would have invested in all three strategies on average, you have um, would have had a profit of 1%. But yeah, let's have a look of how that works and how you can participate uh, by your own. And I will show you really every step for that uh, so that you can um, um, directly see um, how you can be um, part of uh, JFD Invest. So let's start on the web page here. Uh, and then we have a new button, which is called JFD Invest. And um, if I go there, then uh, I'm directly at uh, JFD Invest. And you see how it works. Um, so in total, it only needs four steps so that you can participate. Uh, first thing is that you sign up for an invest profile. That is more something like, um, yeah, you, you are registered. Uh, you have more access to more details than just being a guest. Um, I will start as a guest so that you can have already a look of what kind of strategies are around and what numbers you can uh, figure out. But later we will log in to our JFD Invest profile. And even we do one step more, we will start investing and I will show how that particular works. Because if you really want to start investing in JFD um, Invest, then uh, you need an invest account that is a um, um, a specific account just for uh, that purpose. So it's not your regular account and you can't use your regular account because you need a professional one. And that one is just um, uh, meant for those copied trades. And um, you even don't have to be a professional trader, but you follow professional traders and therefore you have the same limits like professionals. So it's a, um, a separate account. Um, it's uh, easy to open and uh, then you can connect later strategies with that JFD uh, Invest account. Yeah, and then you select and you start uh, trade copying. So that's all. 
Um, and what you have, just uh, as a preview already here, um, the top five performers of um, up to now, <clears throat> um, that is a ranking. And you see, we are really talking about uh, premium strategies. Uh, you see year to date, we have numbers like 20% here the, uh, for the best one. So it's a um, remarkable result. And uh, yeah, you can have those results in your invest account as well. So everything we need is we need to start. So let's go further. So guest uh, access, so that's uh, maybe the first step you go. And um, if you <clears throat> have pressed that button, then you are directly linked to JFD Invest. And you can see even more accounts right now here. So in total, there are seven strategies, which might be of interest for you. Um, and as a headline here, <clears throat> you have the inception date, um, the total return since inception, last month's year to date. And we will talk about that later, equity balance deviation. It's an important key figure because um, then you see, hey, there might be open trades. Uh, they might have floating losses and uh, how um, how big the deviation is now between equity and balance um, is shown here with that number. So, but now as a highlight of the week, it's already gold mine. So it's more or less a double highlight here because uh, um, it's a premium strategy at all. So let's uh, have a look to that strategy a little bit more in uh, detail. And if you press that strategy, you have immediately access to um, the equity line, or in this case, it's uh, the growth. So total growth up to now is about uh, 20%. And um, you see it's uh, more or less a steady behavior um, from the left um, uh, lower corner to the right upper corner, exactly as an equity should look like. And so that's already one figure we have. You have um, further details like monthly return table here and even some statistics of those um, of, of that account. And you have already access to what kind of instruments are traded. And here you will see in total there are 12 symbols which are traded. Um, and you see how many trades have been executed up to now. So it's already a good number so it's the real statistics it's not a single event uh, that that strategy is the top performer up to now so lots of trades have been executed um, and uh, that's a good sign uh, that we have really a good strategy here strategy here but we have other things we can have a look here that is um, we can have a look for equity and if we uh, look for equity, you get always two lines. And the two lines is equity and balance. And uh, for example, if I go to uh, one value here, you can see, okay, there is a difference between balance and equity. That means there has been open trades um, being in the minus, so floating losses, but all are recovered. As you can see further, we have a growth here. So other things you you might be interested okay the returns um, that is more, uh, the, the daily uh, table here and you see okay it's not too volatile that's something you might learn here as well um, how volatile that kind of strategy is and you see the daily profits uh, okay the worst day here up to now uh, has been this one and um, that day um, has had a, um, a loss of close to 2%, but that has been the maximum. So the overall volatility is quite good, not too um, too high, um, which is very good. And finally, just um, to really show directly to that equity balance deviation, and you can see here, it goes down to minus um, uh, a couple of percent, and the highest number has been five and a half percent uh, up to now, which is uh, still um, a good number. So all those information you can have already as a guest. But now it's time to, to really jump into that strategy. And uh, to jump into that strategy means we have to log in. And um, doing so, I just go here for uh, the dashboard and I <clears throat> can uh, log in. 
Otherwise, I would have logged out as a guest and now logging in um, as uh, my, with my profile name. And then, yeah, we are on a similar page here, so we can go to the favorites. But let me first start with what you see here. That is already a JFD Invest account. It has an account number, and um, originally the account started with 10,000 euros. And we are already following uh, a couple of strategies. And um, just to have a look, which strategies we follow uh, already. Okay, we follow here and under allocations, we follow um, the BIP generator, Euro Dream, and Balance. So those three strategies are already in our JFD Invest um, portfolio. And you can see what we are really doing here. So we are doing the job of a portfolio manager, which is really a cool thing. So, and if you do uh, the same, uh, then, um, yeah, then uh, you are simply your own portfolio manager. And that is how you do your job here. So what you are doing now is, okay, you are looking for a strategy and we have looked already to gold mine. And then you, you ask yourself, hey, is that strategy a good strategy for me? And to answer that questions, question, okay, you, we do similar steps like before, uh, just showing around uh, those numbers, because we have to answer the question, is that strategy something we really like? And the, the reason why I repeat myself here a little bit is, it's like your own trading style. You should only follow strategies which you really like which is in line with your personal um, trading behavior so maybe you you don't like to have um, a too much volatile uh, strategy within your account and therefore it's really a good thing that we have all the kind of information all information here available and that you can really have a deep look of is that strategy something I really like? And it's not only maybe a question of, of um, the total return, it's all the other numbers as well. Therefore, I recommend um, go into the details of all the strategies, look to the kind of instruments which are traded, maybe a, like a strategy which is trading um, ducks or whatever. So please just select those strategies you really like. And if there's a strategy with too high volatility and um, that it's not really your trading style, then just choose another one. Um, there's always um, a good selection of um, strategies around and then you will definitely find the one you really like. In my case, because hey, it has been the best performer at all and the best performer last week, I would like to follow now the strategy goldmine. So I press the button follow and uh, by doing so, um, I can go directly to the next uh, slide here. And um, yeah, and now how really to follow that strategy. What I have to do is I have to allocate money for that strategy. In my case, the overall money available is 10,000, but I have already invested money in some other strategies. So still, I can in principle allocate uh, 7,500 for that strategy, but mm, let's start with another number. So uh, let's have a, um, or a straight number like 2,000 euro. So that will be the amount of money I allocate for the strategy gold mine. Good. Let's go one step further because, okay, we might use additionally some risk management for that strategy. What does it mean? So let me switch on that one here. I have to accept that. And that means the strategy might have a drawdown in future. And what I can do here is that I can say, please stop automatically without further interaction to copy those trades into my account if a certain drawdown has been reached. The starting value here is 10%, so that might be a little bit low. Um, and I would say, okay, I 
want a, a number like 50%, um, I would even go for a loss of 50% with that single strategy. But if that value is exceeded, which would mean 1,000 euro, then the strategy is automatically stopped. Um, and that's good because I do not only risk allocation uh, in terms of overall money, I have a risk management as well, meaning how much money am I um, able or um, I like to, to have on risk. And in my case, it would be in total 1,000 euro. So minimum investment fee would have been one, uh, 500 euro. And you see already another thing, of course, uh, there are some costs, but it's only performance fee, no management fee. And the performance fee is 25%. And as you might have heard already, that is high watermark. That means only if the strategy is reaching new highs, I have to pay that fee and only um, for the performance. That means only if the strategy is earning money, I have to pay uh, some performance here. And that is uh, 25%. If I accept everything, okay, then I can say um, follow and I say yes. And um, now everything is done. So I follow now the strategy in gold mine and um, um, yeah, now this one is in my allocated uh, allocation table here as well. So if I go back to allocation, uh, then we will see, okay, now we have four strategies uh, which we follow and we have um, risk allocation in a way that we have 2000 for gold mine, 1000 BIP generator, 1000 Euro dream and 500 Euro for balance. Okay. so. That is the current portfolio and which is um, uh, quite well. So um, that is our mixture we have. So it's really some diversification already within um, my JFD Invest account. So that looks good and that's um, quite well. And as you have seen, maybe we have already um, money earned. So in total, um, let, uh, let's have a look to that as well. I go to my account and uh, if I go to my account, you can see, okay, originally we started with 10,000 uh, euros and right now we have a balance of already 10,000 and close to 160. There are some open trades, therefore equity is less than that number and yeah, that's uh, really great that we have um, already earned money with JFD Invest. Maybe later we will even go for other strategies as well. Um, so uh, let's see, maybe for the next uh, week that we see who has been uh, the leading strategy um, in that week. But already now, let's have a look to the other ones which are in our account. Um, and let me go for one completely different strategy. That is Eurodream. That is an interesting strategy as well. Interesting in a sense that let me start with instruments uh, which are traded here and you see okay the, um, that kind of strategy is trading euro us dollar only hmm. interesting enough and why i think that strategy is quite well uh, doing yeah let's look to the monthly return table all numbers are green great strategy and you see that the um, let's have a look to, to uh, the volatility in terms of uh, returns. And here you can see that our daily changes um, are really extremely low. So it's, it's a good base strategy to have in, within our portfolio. Um, extremely low volatility. Um, sometimes the strategy is not trading at all as right now, which is obvious if you look uh, to the difference between balance and equity, because that difference is right now simply zero. Um, yeah, that means, okay, the no trade is open. Um, but later, of course, there might be additional trades with that strategy as well. And one final view on another strategy here, um, which is already in 
uh, within our JFD Invest account and uh, has allocated some money. Let's have a look to uh, the strategy balance. Um, and that strategy is trading um, different uh, symbols. And um, let's have a look to what kinds of symbols are traded within that strategy. Okay, there are four. Um, underlyings, um, three really minor and euro US dollar and uh, number of trades. Okay, uh, so already exceeding 1000 trades uh, within um, 11 or 10 months, which is uh, already a high number, meaning, okay, that kind of equity um, we have here uh, is already um, out of a lot of trades. So there are statistics behind and uh, yeah, it's uh, looking quite well. Sometimes there are drawdowns. Yeah, why not? Um, and if we go for the uh, daily return table here, um, of course, we, we can see that we have um, exceeding or at least once the 6%. Um, and uh, it's up to you to decide uh, whether that kind of volatility is too high or not too high. So therefore, we do that kind of selection. We have pre-selection done by JFD, but finally you create your own portfolio, meaning you are your portfolio manager. And since I got a question here about um, the fees, so um, I would like to explain a little bit more um, how high watermark is uh, working. And um, that is a principle uh, which I think uh, is quite fair to to have fees for um, such uh, an investing product. And if you start an, an account, let's start here with 1,000, let's say 1,000 uh, euros. And maybe at the end of the first month, uh, we have reached 1,200. Then high watermark means, okay, there has been profit of 200 was 25%, it would mean um, $50 uh, performance fee. Going to the next month, at the end of the next month, we um, gained additional 200 euros. So we would have paid additional 50 euros performance fee because we have had new highs. Let's go further. Next month, we have a loss. Let's say about here, 300 um, euros. And of course, no fees have to be paid because it's high watermark. No fees have to be paid. Now we go for the next month really a little bit more in detail. In the middle of the month, maybe we have reached already 1,600. And you might think, hey, I have to pay fees. No. We have to wait until the end of the month. And the end, at the end of the month, in that example here, we are still at 1,100. Okay, always the end of the month counts, and therefore we don't have to pay any fees. I can say exactly when do we have to pay fees next time? Okay, in case we exceed the 1,400 limit. That is the trigger uh, for... Uh, new fees. So that is a high watermark. So on the long run, only if the strategy is earning money, that means you have to pay fees. And that I think is really fair enough. So that's about high watermark. And uh, finally, yeah, let me make some final remarks here about JFD Invest. And whenever you have questions, you see my email address. Um, you can go directly to me or just to um, customer support of uh, JFD. So JFD Invest is um, a cool thing. It's a digital world management and it's quite efficient. It's tailored. It's extremely transparent because we present all the numbers you need, all the details of those strategies that you, you know exactly what has been in the past and whether that fits to, um, to, to your um, personal um, favorites. So let me think a little bit here um, because I got just a question. Um, okay. Um, so some questions. Are my funds secured by SciTech insurance for traders and invested in the same way um, like any other account at JFD? And I'm not a legal expert. So just out of my head, I think the, the regulations are that um, 
25,000 are always directly secured and um, um, I'm not exactly the right person, so please, maybe you, you uh, send the question additionally to JFD Invest. But what I definitely know is all those invest accounts um, are acting like any other personal account. So the same rules for, um, for that account. Um, do we need an MT4 account? Next question. Um, the JFD Invest account is an MT4 account. and it's only an MT4 account. So there are no MT5 accounts for JFD Invest. And since you need that separate um, account for JFD Invest, it's automatically an MT4. Um, so, and that answers the final question, is MT4 excluded from this program? Yes, up to now, uh, we don't have any MT5 strategy um, and uh, for, for JFD Invest, and therefore there is no need uh, to have any copy mechanism uh, for uh, MT5 um, accounts. And that's finally the reason why JFD Invest is, uh, accounts are always MT4 accounts. M MT4 accounts. Okay, so um, got this. Um, so um, the limit here is mentioned to be um, twenty thousand uh, euros. So I just just have a look. Um, um, so thanks for for that remark. So just have a look uh, to the um, to the JFD web page, and uh, you will find um, somewhere around here uh, the, the legal answer for that question. Sorry to have not every number um, right away out of my head. So mm, finally, go. let's go to, to my summary here. The good thing is that all your own preferences are taken into account. That means that it's tailored to your wishes. It's tailored to your preferences. You are doing uh, all the steps of risk allocation and risk management. So um, that means finally you act as a portfolio manager. And what you don't need, which is good to mention here as well, you don't need any expert advisor for those um, trading uh, strategies, which are in this case, all strategies are trading um, automatically by expert advisors, but you don't need any expert advisor because all the trades are directly copied into your JFD Invest account directly by JFD. So that answers the last question. Do I need a uh, VPS, a virtual private server for that? Answer is no, because after doing every step here on the web page, everything is set and everything is done and executed directly by JFD. So you don't have to be online. Um, your computer don't have to be online. Uh, everything is running by, its, by itself which is quite cool. So now it's your turn. Uh, maybe you decide to be part of JFD Invest. Then first thing, open a profile. Second, open a JFD Invest account. And then you can do the same steps like I did here and allocate some strategies into your JFD Invest account. That's for now. Let's see what the next highlights for next week are. There's already a webinar scheduled about that. Uh, let's see what we can report uh, within one week. And let's see what is the actual standing of our JFD Invest portfolio. Well done. Okay. Have a nice day. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.